Hey everyone, so today I have some goodies that I just received and I wanna share that with you. The first one being this Parfianca pomegranate tree that I received from Ivy Organics. I'm just excited to get this one because it's ranked the number one rated taste tested pomegranate. It's almost seedless. So you'll be able to enjoy the whole seed from this pomegranate. I love some pomegranate. Um, I love pomegranate juice. Um, pomegranate candy, anything that has that, that flavor is just candles. I mean, everything. So I'm pretty excited to have this tree right here. We're gonna put this one in a container, obviously, because we don't have the room to put that in the ground. But I did want to tell you, this one comes from Dave Wilson's Nursery, and you can buy it at Ivy Organics on their website as well. Right now, they have a buy one, get one. So if you buy a tree, you'll get a free bag of fertilizer, which is pretty awesome because Ivy Organics is a great fertilizer to have in your garden. I know we've talked about many fertilizers that we use here. This is another fertilizer that we love to use because it really, really works well and it's a great product. It has six macronutrients in that fertilizer. So it's something that you're gonna to wanna to look into if you're interested in probably going uh, with some different type of fertilizer as well. But a little bit more about this tree. So this is a probably a one to two year tree that was grown at Dave Wilson's nursery. So it'll attempt to set some fruit this year, but we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna go ahead and pull those off. We'll let it fruit next year and maybe, and get, maybe be able to enjoy that fruit next year. But I'm pretty excited for this one. Before we do anything with this plant, get a plant or anything like that, what I wanna do is I wanna show you another product because we did receive some other stuff from Ivy Organics that I'm pretty excited about. So I have a box here from Ivy Organic that has a couple of things that we use in our garden consistently. And I know you guys have asked again, like I said, about different types of fertilizers. This is definitely a fertilizer and a product we use in our garden all the time. The first one being is this spray right here. This is a three-in-one plant guard. It protects against damaging sunburn, insect, and rodents. This spray we use on our roses. We use them on our roses to protect the foliage and protect it from any insects or anything that's gonna happen to that rose. And it's done outstanding. It's protected it quite well from black spot. Uh, some of those aphids that like to crawl on the roses early on when they start to set buds. So this is definitely a product I do recommend if you're gonna be growing a lot of roses and you wanna keep those organically safe and free of insects. The other thing we have here is an organic fertilizer. This is a super blend plus with azomite. Azomite is a volcanic rock that is used inside this fertilizer that is, uh, from what I'm understanding, is a great product. You can use this fertilizer on fruit trees, vegetables, ornamentals, roses and flowers, and it has the 333 NPK. Now real quick, just to read off the back of this here. So you can use this as a foliar feed, a compost tea, and Again, it's just a great product to use in the garden. Again, another fertilizer we use here, and I'm excited to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and use that with this tree here. And which brings me to the best product, the product we started off with in the beginning using from Ivy Organics, and it's the uh, the three-in-one plant guard. It's a whitewash. All right, so if you don't know what a whitewash is, I'm gonna read a little bit of information from the Ivy Organic uh, flyer here. So Ivy Organic three-in-one plant guard is a patented formula that is a healthier alternative to latex paint and tar-based products. Depending on the amount of water added to the contents, the product may be used as a tree paste, a brush-on, or a foliar spray. It contains seven natural oils. Now, when I say seven natural oils, these oils are used for different things in the garden. So you have peppermint oil, which repels ants, beetles, cockroaches, flies, moths, mosquitoes, and rodents, rosemary oil for mosquitoes, flies, fleas, diatomaceous earth, which is a natural insect repellent. And you have garlic oil for aphids, ants, and so on. Cinnamon oil for ants, termites, antifungal, clove oil. Um, so it has quite a bit of stuff in there. I forgot the castor oil, so the castor oil is also in there. But this is a great product. Again, um, I love using Ivory Organics. I've used it before. We use it on our apple tree, and it protected it really, really well. If you've never heard of sunburn or sun scout on any type of trees, that's something that is real and it does happen. Uh, coming from Texas, living in Texas, uh, there's a lot of pecan trees that grow in Texas. And one thing they do is when they plant those pecan trees is they used to get this white latex paint and paint the bottoms of those trees where the sun is, where the tree is more vulnerable to the sun and that keeps it from burning and, and just creating any damage to the bark. This is an alternative which is 100% better because it's not latex based and it's 100% organic, which is more healthier for the environment and any of those trees that you have growing. And it's not just pecans, like I said, the fruit trees, um, any type of ornamental trees you have as well that could get affected by the sun, it's a great product to use on that. 
I'm excited to be using this. We use it a lot. Also, I forgot to mention, I have a 10% off discount code for you, which is GARDEN10. If you go to Ivy Organics, you can also use that on the buy one, get one as well. So just an added bonus. All right, so I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so I can show you exactly how this whitewash works. Now the whitewash you can get in different colors. The ones I have here is gray and I have white. I've used brown before. They have green as well. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if they still have those available, but they, I have the gray and I have the white right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the gray on my apple tree and I'm gonna use the gray on this pomegranate as well as soon as I plant it into a container. Hey guys, it's me, future me. So this is a bit embarrassing because as you can see, the pomegranate's already planted. And when I did the video, I paused it and then I restarted it to do the planting. And unfortunately for me, I did not check my audio. So everything I recorded was without audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and rewatch some of the footage and explain to you exactly what I did when I potted this pomegranate and used the Ivy Organics product because I really wanted to capture this on video for you guys. But unfortunately, like I said, I, I messed up the audio. So I'm gonna try to do it justice here by going over the footage. All right, so as you can see, I already have my pomegranate tree already in a container. What I like to do before I pot anything in containers is I like to use a two to three inch layer of mulch at the bottom. What that's gonna do is that's gonna help that plant maintain or retain any moisture, but it's also gonna prevent it from clogging up with any soil at the bottom of that container. All right, so once I got the pomegranate in there, I went ahead and put some fertilizer around the top layer of that soil, and I scratched it in about an inch down. That way it works its magic, it gets down there. I didn't put it too close to the trunk. That's one thing I don't wanna do is I don't wanna get the fertilizer too close to the trunk. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more mulch and apply a top layer of mulch to the container as well. Again, it's very, very hot here in our region here. So it's very dry when it comes to containers. That heat is gonna dry out those containers. And as you know, if you plant anything in containers, it dries out fairly, fairly quickly. So that top layer of mulch, is essential to any regions where it gets really, really hot and humid because it tends to dry out very, very quickly. So we use that top layer of mulch to retain any moisture on top as well. And we don't have to water as often during the hot summer months. All right, so it looks now like I'm opening the, uh, the container of the Ivy Organics. And I, I, I talked about it yesterday when I did the video and uh, I was using the pruners to attempt to open this can. I don't recommend using pruners to open a can, use a screwdriver. I just did it because I was out here already doing the video. Um, that's an easy way to damage your pruner. So don't do what I did. Uh, go ahead and use a screwdriver to pop that open real quick. Now, when you open these containers, what you get is you're gonna get a bag of the whitewash and that's the powder form. And then you're gonna get a vial of those oils. Now, for those of you that are uh, conscious of the environment, you can also go on their website and request to just have the bag and the oil sent to you. Um, if you have an extra can lying around from the past, you can go ahead and rinse that out really good and you can reuse that same can. Otherwise, again, you can go on their website and request to just get the bag and the oil sent to you. All right, now this can can actually cover about 25 small trees. I don't have 25 small trees. If you're looking to plant that many trees, this can's gonna be able to do that many trees. So I'm only gonna make half of this container and it's just half the powder and half the oils in there. And then you just add water. I suggest adding the water little by little and start mixing it. Uh, otherwise it's gonna get very, very pasty. Uh, you can definitely add a bit more water to the consistency that you want it, but you don't want it too watery as well. Now I was getting ready to fill up the container here and I was explaining something that had happened last year uh, and it's a funny story because that vial right there, just be careful when you pull that out. Last year, me and Angie were out here doing a video and we fumbled it a little bit, uh, trying to pass it off to each other and we dropped that vial and broke it. And we were just devastated because that was a whole vial of oils that we just wasted. So uh, just be careful handling that because uh, use, use, a, use a surface that's gonna be very, very safe just in case you drop it, maybe over the container maybe over a bag of soil, just something where you don't break it. We did it over concrete. Obviously it fell, broke, shattered, and we were out a vial of those oils. Now I started mixing it here. It's gonna take about a good five minutes of mixing to get it to the consistency that you want. It's almost like mixing chocolate milk. You know, when you put that chocolate milk in there and you just can't mix it quite well and you have still that powder on, on top. So you gotta mix it for a good five minutes. And once you get that going, you should be good to start painting your tree. All right. And like I said, just add a little bit more water as you need to go 
uh, to get it to that consistency that you want, you should be good. All right, so I'm done mixing the uh, the Ivy Organics here and I'm dipping my paintbrush. Now, I used a regular paintbrush. You could definitely use a sponge brush. That'll work quite well, especially with a smaller tree like this. You can get in between all the little crevices and leaves. Now, this pomegranate is pretty uh, leafed out, so it was a little bit difficult to get it all the way in there, but the paintbrush works just as good. Again, you can use a sponge, br a sponge brush, but uh, I talked about only doing the main trunk and none of the uh, the other uh, stems that are sticking out. So I did some of the main trunks, but then I, I, I started to, as I was going, I just started to continue to paint uh, the other main leaders that are going up uh, just so I can get some good consistent coverage and making sure no insects are going to crawl up, you know, the, the, the tree at all. And it'll deter it from going one way or the other up that tree there. All right, so it looks like I just uh, went along and painted and really didn't say much for the rest of this this portion of the video, but I did want to mention in there as you're painting, don't be afraid to get in there and, and paint some of the stuff. Even if you get on the leaves, that's one thing that I was talking about in this video was that this paint, the Ivy Organics paint, not necessarily a paint, but the Ivy Organics whitewash dries on porous. So if you'd like to do any foliar feeding or if you're worried about the sun, you know, uh, giving that energy to the leaves or the plant at all, there's nothing to worry about there. The plant's still gonna be able to breathe. Any foliar feeding still gonna be able to get to those leaves there. It's just an added protection to the plant. So it's a, again, it's a great product to use, even as a foliar spray or as a spray on, it's just gonna be a great product to use. It's porous, I've seen it before. You know, it, it, once it starts to dry, you will barely be able to tell that it's even on there as a foliar spray. And as a paint, like I said, I used a gray, um, I didn't use the, the white, I used the gray because I wanted it to kind of, you know, resemble the same color of the stems here. But that gray almost looks brown. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's coming out, pretty happy with the way it looks. All right guys, so again, my apologies for not uh, checking my work and making sure that the audio was running when I did that portion of the video. Uh, I did talk about how I wasn't gonna do the Espalier apple tree on this video because I was losing light and I'm losing light here again because I was editing this video and just found out, you know what, there is no audio. So I had to come out here and very quickly improvise. But I uh, just wanted to tell you guys that I'm not going to do the Espalier apple tree. I'll do it on a future video. That way I can do the roses as well. So you can see that as well. Right now the apple tree is blooming. So we're going to try to get that done quickly, maybe tomorrow when I have some light. But that's really it, guys. I mean, it's, it's a really easy process, nothing hard to it. And, and, you know, we just painted it real quick, did what we had to do. And, you know, I'm, a, I'm happy and I'm confident that this tree is gonna do quite well, um, as long as it's covered with the Ivy Organics product and I'm fertilizing with Ivy Organics because again, we've used this before and it's absolutely a great product. Don't forget to go onto their website, check out their buy one, get one bag of fertilizer uh, from now until uh, April 30th, I believe. And then you save 10% off using Garden 10, uh, our code on the website. So. Again, I, I, I don't know how much better uh, of a price you can get on that. Um, very great product. It's gonna be used for many, many uh, trees and plants. If you buy this can, it's gonna go a long way if you use it properly and store it properly, meaning don't use the whole can, use a smaller amount, and then using it as a folder spray. I mean, come on, this thing I think makes a couple of spray bottles and when i say a couple i'm talking about over 20 spray bottles worth of foliar spray so that's something awesome that i look forward to i use the whole one gallon two gallon sprayer and i go around and just do all our roses with that and it absolutely helps tremendously again that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you took something from this video i hope you tried this product out and if you do please by all means let us know in the comments down below we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next video